NTNU has worked since the 1980s in a targeted manner towards recruiting girls to science and technology studies. The last 10 years we found the method that we use today, the method that we see work and we can see the results. In order to break the stereotype that ICT is only for guys, we invite girls from final and second final year of high school that major in mathematics. We invite them to the technology camp to meet the students where they are, to meet the professors where they are, to just get a feel for what the student life would be like. Um, I think I searched actually a technology camp for the at bare for å få litt sånn kjennskap til hva det egentlig man gjør på universitetet. For at selv om vi har hørt veldig mye om det på skolen, så har vi på en måte ikke opplevd det selv. Så det er egentlig derfor. Jeg synes det er veldig hyggelig og koselig her, og jeg synes opplegget har vært utrolig bra så langt. Jeg liker følelsen av å gå rundt her, og synes ting ser spennende og interessant ut. Working for increasing the female share among the ICT students is important for this university. Gender balance is a factor that we are measured on by the Ministry of Education in Norway. And then you consider it our social responsibility to contribute to increase the number of females in the field of science and technology. And why should we be satisfied with recruiting from half of the population? We need the best ones. Then we need to recruit from the whole population. Det er nogle, en problemstilling, som vi, uh, som vi jo arbejder med i vores uh, ligestillingsprojekt uh, på DTU. Og, uh, og synes, at det var oplagt at komme her og besøge jer og se, hvad det er, I gør. Så uh, har vi været rundt i dag og kigget på workshops, og det ser uh, super spændende ud. Og, meget inspirerende. Øh, selv øh, jeg fik helt lyst til at blive læseingeniør. Vi har holdt på at lage et dataspil. Ja. Gjennom programmering så gjør vi liksom figurene i spillet beskjed om hva de skal gjøre for noe, og så we spend a lot of resources planning an exciting program for the technology camp. And this year we have uh, presentations such as uh, online with hackers, spies and scammers, how to win uh, the Oscars with a degree in mathematics and uh, learning through gaming uh, with the inventor himself of Kahoot. Here at NTNU, we have used exciting teaching technology to motivate female students to study ICT. Uh, this is uh, teaching technologies such as Kahoot, which is gamified as well as social. And by using these tools, we have seen that uh, we have motivated more students to study ICT. Før jeg dro hit, så var jeg veldig usikker, for jeg er sånn veldig delt. Jeg er veldig glad i realfag, og jeg er veldig glad i samfunnsfagrefag. Og så kom jeg hit, og så fikk jeg innsikt i studieprogrammene, og fikk møte masse studenter, så jeg har absolutt veldig lyst til å studere på NTNU. Ja, jeg er kjempemotivert. Jeg hadde egentlig ikke tenkt å tenke at nei, NTNU, det gidder ikke jeg. Men nå er jeg veldig motivert, så nå tror jeg kommer til å vurdere det veldig bra. First and foremost, we see that the total number of female ICT students go up. We see that the percentage share of female studying science and technology goes up. Ten years ago, 16% of the applicants to science and technology studies at NTNU were females. This year, 30% were females. We see that approximately 70% of the girls that take part of the technology camp end up applying for science and technology studies at the NTNU. I'm very glad for that I took part in the technology camp, and I'm very glad for that I got to be part of it, and that I dermed valgte å flytte til Trondheim for å studere. Uten teknologikampen hadde ikke jeg gått på Kubernetes nå. So this leads to the fact that NTNU dedicate time and money to the technology camp and towards gender balance work in ICT. So changing a stereotype is not done overnight. What we're trying to do here is to try and change the world and changing the world takes time. Mm -hmm.